we will never recommend an MSC cruise. All you can eat. Give me a little tour. We're Matt and Nat, a part-time, non-remote travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. In 2021, we visited all 50 U.S. states. 2022 took our adventures abroad. Now we've set out on a journey to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die. Well, before we die. In our last video, we were in Florence, Italy, where we tested our stair climbing abilities by climbing to the top of not only the Duomo, but also the bell tower. Took in the city's incredible architecture and art, including the most famous sculpture ever created and indulged in Florence's world-class food scene. This week we're taking you along on our full seven-day western Mediterranean cruise. Before we get into this video, we want to thank Olafly for sponsoring this video and for making international travel so much more enjoyable with their easy to use and very affordable eSIMs. Before discovering Olafly, our only options for accessing data when traveling internationally were unreliable public Wi-Fi, expensive data roaming through our home carrier, or purchasing a local SIM card once we arrived to the destination, which could be super stressful and annoying. <laughs> and if you're watching this and still wondering what an eSIM actually is, then don't worry that's what we're here for. An eSIM is a digital version of a physical SIM card which identifies your device virtually to provide network connection. Now, if all of that just sounds really confusing, that's okay as well because the only thing that you really need to understand is that Olafly will make your next international trip so much more enjoyable. Olafly offers eSIMs in over 165 destinations and their data packages range from five days to three months for a little over a dollar a day for unlimited data. They also make it super easy to purchase the eSIM through their website and you get immediate delivery with installation instructions to your email. We've used Olafly on multiple different international trips now and have had only good experiences, but in the case that you do run into any trouble, Olafly offers 24 seven customer support in multiple different languages. They also make it easy to recharge or top up your eSIM after your data plan expires or runs out. Needless to say, we are big fans of Olafly eSIMs and we think that you will be too so be sure to click the link down in the description and use our code adventures of Matt and Nat for an additional 5% off. Thanks again to Olafly for sponsoring this video. Welcome, Welcome to, to Italy. Italy. Or should we say benvenuto in Italia but please don't come for our terrible Italian we're yes, working on it's it. it's pretty rough right now but we're here in the city of Livorno and we're about to board the MSC Bellissima for a seven night western Mediterranean cruise. I don't know if you can see but right over there is our cruise ship. This is our first ever Mediterranean cruise and we are so excited about it. We've got four port stops in two different countries, oh, yeah. two days at sea, and we are so looking <laughs> forward to taking you guys along. So let's go get checked in. Let's do it. Got our room keys. Yep, check in it was an absolute breeze. Yeah, there was like nobody checking in. I mean, we might have had, not counting the shuttle ride over, maybe 10 minutes in check in. Yeah, so, so this is perfect. So we're awesome. gonna get on the ship now. <laughs> We have a balcony. <laughs> this is the biggest cruise ship room I have ever had. Yeah, anytime we've done a cruise before, we've always been the cheapskates that just stayed on the interior Either rooms. like bunk beds, like whatever was the cheapest. But there was a really good deal on this one that we couldn't pass up, so. No, they had a free balcony upgrade. Yeah, we couldn't pass it up. No! <laughs> Let's give you a little tour. So welcome to our home for the next seven nights. We're gonna give you a little room tour, as Natalie said. As you walk in the front door, you've got your door to your bathroom right here on your right, and it's actually pretty spacious and very nice. Then right past that, you're gonna have your place where you have to put your key card in to turn the power on in the room, which is very necessary because it's still pretty warm here in Italy and we needed AC right when we got in here. So you have to have your key card to do that. And as you continue on into the room, you've got a full length mirror here, which I'm sure Natalie will use to get ready in the mornings. <laughs> She's also excited about this spacious desk to get ready at. I always complain that she takes up the entire bathroom space for the mirror, but instead she's got this awesome space right here to get ready. I'm super excited to take over it. 
it. <laughs> right past that, you have your power outlets, which is very important to note. There are two European outlets as well as two US outlets and USB ports. I think we just have one USB port there. I think there are some by the beds as well. And as far as I know, that is the only power in the room. And you cannot bring surge protectors or extension cords on most ships. So be sure to check the policies for whatever ship you're cruising on. We had to buy special adapters for this one. So check out our Amazon storefront, which is in the link down in the description if you want to see the specific ones that we bought. Then you have what we're excited about to actually have a couch in our stateroom. We've never had that before. So awesome. Have a massive, nice closet for all of your hanging things. Here you have also a safe and shelving and drawers there. Then the most important thing that we're excited about. The balcony. Uh, <laughs> on the way to the balcony, you get to see our beautiful bed. And then you're gonna lift it up like this, I think. Wow. How fancy are we? We don't have the best view right now, but this is gonna be me. So on the balcony, there are two chairs and an ottoman. I don't know the square footage of it, but I mean, it's a decent size. Touch lights. There's also a USB we just found underneath the light. So that's awesome. Oh. So this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next probably 45 minutes is touching everything and unpacking. All right, guys, we're not gonna lie. We had big plans for today, you know, going and seeing all of the ship and those things, but jet lag got the best of us and it got the best of us hard. Yeah, it did. <laughs> the bed looked way too comfy after we put all of our stuff away and I was like, just yeah. a little nap. Yep. And, and here we are. Um, and we're usually the people that are like, don't give in to it, just no. push through. But we had had like maybe eight hours of sleep in the past three days. Yeah. So, so now, just what happened. But <laughs> now we're leaving the port. So we woke up because we felt the ship moving. Officially at sea. <laughs> and I can already say that the balcony is totally worth it. I don't know if we're gonna be able to cruise any other way in the future. No, this is amazing. <laughs> Ready for dinner number one. <laughs> so we may be sitting with people that we don't know because our table has been assigned. We typically, when we go on cruises, we like to pick the my time dining so we get mm -hmm. to sit alone, but we didn't do that on this one. So we might not be able to film as much at the dinner table. Yeah, we might not even be able to speak their language. So this is gonna be interesting. That we'll let you know. true, because we, we haven't goes. really heard English on the ship all day, so. No, nope. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> our own table. We were kind of excited to like meet new people and make friends on the ship, but this works too because we'll be able to show you a little bit more. Ooh, all you can eat. <laughs> I ordered the cuttlefish salad. And I got the niçoise salad, which I had to ask how to pronounce. And it has tuna, some tomato, boiled egg, a bunch of stuff that I would have never put together on a salad, but it actually looks pretty decent. And for our main entree, we got the herb encrusted filet, which also came with a side of mashed potatoes and carrots and green beans. So the entree is good, but I will say, I think it's mislabeled. I don't know why they would call this a filet. It's closer to like a pot roast meets prime rib kind of thing. Really good, but not exactly what we were expecting when we ordered an herb encrusted filet. So I got the wild berry cobbler, and this is the kind of cobbler that I always expect when I order cobbler. I don't know if it's just because I grew up in Germany, but Matt says this is not a cobbler. This is a crumble, but I'm just excited to eat it. So good. It said there was no added sugar, which I was kind of skeptical about, but this is delicious. I want to get 
another one. The party's still going on, so I don't know if you can hear me, but I got their lemon cello cake. It looks like it has a meringue on top, and also came with this nifty little chocolate stick. Very mild, the wild berry cobbler with the ice cream is definitely the winner of dessert tonight. So we just left dinner and it is pure chaos yeah. out here. This is the busiest cruise I think we've ever been yeah. on. We came out of dinner and we're kind of like shocked. Whoa. It, it, just, it went from like zero to a hundred. Before we went to dinner, it was pretty calm out and now everybody's out to party. Everyone is out. <laughs> but dinner was what you expect out of a cruise or like an all-inclusive type setting. Yeah. It's not going to be like mind-blowing food because they're serving so much quantity of it, yeah. but this was good I thought. It was. What was your favorite part? Um, the dessert. Same. Yeah. The, yeah. the berry, so wild berry cobbler with the vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Absolutely so the best. <laughs> so I think we're gonna call it a little bit of an early night because yeah. we've been traveling for 24 hours to get here. Yes, and we're just a little bit exhausted. Yeah. Also, we have an early day tomorrow. It's gonna be our first port stop of four. We're gonna be visiting the city where pizza was invented. So we'll see you guys then. or as Italians call it, Napoli. This is our first of four port stops and we are so excited to explore the city. We started our day in Naples the most Italian way that we know how, with pastries and espresso, and what better place to have those than at one of the most iconic cafes in the city. After getting our caffeine and sugar fix, we took a stroll through the most beautiful shopping mall we've ever laid eyes on before roaming the streets and taking in the sights and smells of the famous Spacca Napoli, a 1.2 mile historic street lined with old palaces, stunning churches, shops, bakeries, bars, restaurants, and buskers. After an entertaining and sometimes harrowing walk, we made it to lunch at the number one pizzeria in the world, and yes, the pizza lived up to the hype and was 100% worth the stained shirt and cost of a new shirt at a convenience store. From there, we made our way to Christmas Alley, where it's Christmas 365 days of the year, then ended our day at a 12th century castle. Click the link above to watch our full Naples vlog. It's been a short but sweet day here in Naples and we've loved our time here. While we wish we could have had more, we are firm believers that we would rather see a place once than hear about it a thousand times, although we do hope to come back to Naples someday soon. Now we're going to get back to the ship and continue the fun. Highly recommend it. Look how amazing these views are. It's a beautiful waterfront walk. how thirsty we are. Oh my gosh, we walked so freaking much. <laughs> Cheers. go to our balcony. I think that's a winner for me. Be able to put on some shorts, get okay. these boots off. Natalie's Guys. got a gnarly blister on her foot. I told her on the way back to the ship, I was like, I really wish you could find a shoe that like fit the style category and the comfort because- I haven't found one yet. And she's always gonna go for style. Yep. 
and she's always going to abuse her feet. So, yeah, I'm going to... But you look beautiful. Thank you. I felt very Italian today. That was <laughs> the goal. Until the last two and a half miles of walking when you were like just... I was like hobbling back to the boat. <laughs> so anyways, so that's what we're going to do. Naples, you were amazing. Now we're gonna eat some appetizers on our balcony. With beautiful views of Naples and Mount Vesuvius. Before dinner turned into us sleeping all night. I didn't wake up till like 3 in the morning, realized what happened, and went back to sleep. I came out here and watched the sunrise, and look who just finally got up. She's got a gift for sleeping, guys. <laughs> look who it is! Hey, I slept so long! <laughs> We have breakfast ordered to the room, so we're gonna hopefully get that soon. And yeah, today's a day at sea. I'm planning all of our activities <laughs> now. <laughs> Should be a good time. We're still waking up, enjoying this amazing view of the Mediterranean Sea. How many things do you think I can fit in a day that Matt will still do with me? Hmm? It's gonna be a long day, guys. <laughs> Musical trivia, stretching with your dance instructor. Stretching, all right. And then we can listen to some music. There's a show tonight. There's a Beatles tribute band. We missed the Elvis one. Oh, what did we do last night? Hmm? We slept all night. <laughs> Breakfast is here. Hello. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. This is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> we ordered a lot, guys. My name. No, put it, no, put it out there. No, put it out there. Put it out there. Oh, how exciting. Oh. Ow. <laughs> we good? Bon appetit. Alright, so we just heard on the intercon that they're doing in a mandatory safety briefing, which we did not know about, uh, and they said it was in 15 minutes, so we're gonna get dressed really quick. This lighting is rough. We've got our towels, our waters, and we are ready to go to the pool. Hopefully, there are two chairs next to each other. Hopefully so. We'll see. <laughs> out here but we finally found chairs yes and it was honestly a miracle um but we're so grateful we had to do a little tetris we had to like move some chairs put another chair in it was kind of a lot but we made we're excited it. living our best life right now i think i gotta go get bingo cards bingo bingo All right, so I went to get our bingo cards, but apparently it's 10 euro per card to play. So I'm so. trying to find something that's free. <laughs> Maybe some dance lessons. I wanted to try out for like their talent show, but their talent show is at midnight tonight. <laughs> midnight. Everything is so much later yep. on this cruise compared to any other cruise that we've been on. Like Yeah, they've got kids activities going all the way up to like- They have the teen awards at 11 p.m. Yeah. It's wild. And we're waking up super early tomorrow so I'm not gonna be able to do it. Yeah, the late nights aren't happening for us. Yeah. It's a, it's a night owl cruise. This is which, cool. Which normally we are. Yeah. But on this time zone, it's, it's worked out because yeah. we like to get up early and get a start on the day, especially at port. So, yeah. so we'll we're, see what we can find for free yeah. today. Going to the pool. Oh, <laughs> 
So we're just gonna have to jump in. The air temperature is not even that warm. Yeah, are you gonna get in? Oh yeah. I'm gonna get my hair wet. So now I just realized he's in the pool. <laughs> he's got goosebumps. <laughs> you know it's cold when you have to cuddle in the pool. Everybody else is acting normal. I told Natalie my nipple might cut a hole in her bathing suit. <laughs> hey, they have to speak like eight languages, by the way. Every time that they call a bingo, a Santa Cinco. <laughs> Cinque is about the only number I've understood, and it's five. And the only reason I know that is because I studied our order number at the pizza place in Naples so much that I remember it was Cinque. Venti Cinque. 25. After a morning of sun, it is now time for lunch. Let's go. to the buffet for lunch and that's because it's the only restaurant that's included with our cruise package. You can do upgraded dining packages and all that, but we decided to stay with the base one and it comes with this. Kept it light because we're eating a little bit of a later lunch. I don't know how this pizza is going to be after having like the best pizza in the world in Naples yesterday, but... I got pasta, cold cut, and a salad. <laughs> Definitely an interesting take on the Caesar salad. Is it that sweet dressing? No. Yeah. Can't go wrong with fries. Thumbs up for the pizza. Honestly, same with the pasta. It makes sense since MSC is an Italian-based cruise company. If you stick to Italian foods, you're going to be in good shape. Dessert time. So buffet food is buffet, it's buffet food. buffet food, yes. And the one thing we've really realized and noticed is that all of their desserts here are very bland. Yeah. Not much to them, really. No, not at all. They so. uh, definitely pride themselves in zero sugar added, <laughs> which is fine, but there's just not much flavor in general. Yeah. So. to what we're good at. Which is lounging <laughs> by the pool. <laughs> After spending entirely too long in the sun and the heat, we're gonna go to the room to get ready because dinner is coming up quick. And, and we, we gotta do something with his hair. Yeah, we'll see, see you in soon. a bit. <laughs> we're all cleaned up and headed to dinner. one of everything so we could try it all and I'm um, pretty overwhelmed and he goes so do you want all of it to come out at the same time and we're like yeah and now seeing it on the table I don't know if that was the best decision but I am pretty excited to dive in but also he brought us even more than we ordered so which our table is not really big enough <laughs> dinner and we're in the chaos so sorry about that but <laughs> sit down dinner is better than the buffet yes for sure i still think they have some work to do i'd give it like a seven maybe seven and a half out of ten seven. but definitely much better but now we're about to head to the theater for a show and we're going to take you along and show you a little bit of the chaos and some of the common areas here on the ship by no means this is a full extensive tour there are other channels on youtube for that <laughs> but we're just going to show you our experience
<laughs> show. It was very interesting. Loved the dance moves. The dance yep. moves were awesome. Dancing was great. We only understood about 10% of what was said. Like 5% really. We yeah, understood so. the introduction. The people that work here literally speak like eight languages. Yeah, and that's probably even more impressive than anything that happened in the show. Yeah. Was just how many languages these people they speak start, and seamlessly go between all of yeah, them. Yeah, they start with like Italian, then they go to Spanish, then French, then English, and then German. Portuguese. And por like, yeah. it's amazing. It takes yeah. like 15 minutes for them to do any kind of announcement. <laughs> but the show was good. We have an early day tomorrow. We have a very long day. Yes, a very long and I'm early so morning excited. tomorrow. We're going to a city that's famous for their oranges and it's where paella was created. We'll see you guys in the morning. We are ready and up before the sun. <laughs> and we'll see you in Spain. Yeah. And we're in Spain. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to do this on yes. a bus, Have you but... Not as glamorous as we thought. <laughs> but, you know, we're here. We've been waiting on the shuttle bus for like 15 minutes. We didn't even know that the shuttle bus to the city center of Valencia was an option. Yeah, we had originally planned on taking a taxi, mm -hmm. but the taxi is going to be about twice as much cost as the shuttle was. So here we, we are. made a last minute decision to grab the shuttle <laughs> in the name of saving money. Yeah. Now we're a little bit behind schedule. Yes, we are. We'll, we'll see you guys at the city center hopefully sometime soon. <laughs> to Valencia. Valencia. This is our second port stop on our cruise and we've made it all the way across the Mediterranean Sea to the country of Spain. <laughs> After entering the city through the 14th century city gates, we started our morning with a stroll through the beautiful Plaza de la Virgen as we made our way to the most historic cafe in the city for a quintessential Valenciana breakfast. Horchatas, fartones, churros, and hot chocolate. From there, we took a short walk over to the narrowest home in Europe at an impressive 42 inches wide. Still in need of burning off some of those calories from breakfast, we then hopped on bikes and cruised through the charming streets as we made our way to the architectural wonder and futuristic looking City of Arts and Sciences. And after a slightly longer bike ride than planned, yeah, we did get a little lost, we were in need of some ice cold sangria and agua de Valencia, and of course we had to have paella in the city that it was created in. After a delicious dinner, we made our way to the Valencia Cathedral for a self-guided tour, then ended our day with gelato and an unexpected but welcome parade. Click the link above to watch our full Valencia vlog. So after our amazing gelato and a surprise <laughs> parade. We're headed back to the ship now, so we'll see you there. I just want to let you know a little bit of excitement. Will we make it back to the boat in time before it leaves? Yes or no? Leave your answer down below. My boat's yes. I have already passed out a couple of times. Um, uh, don't worry because we are on the excursion bus. They will wait for us. This is not a trouble. We are calling the authority, the, the port to open the gate for us. My bus is doing it right now inside the bus, the, the ship. I wasn't worried. We made it. Maybe the last four. There might be. <laughs> I think we're the last four. There might be other people that don't make it. But we're the last four. Yeah, four. yeah that's true. Ugh. So we are back to the room. We were the first ones off the ship and the last ones on the ship. So yes. we are pretty exhausted. We got back, chugged like five glasses of water mm -hmm. each and realized that while we would love to go experience more of the ship and see some of the shows, we are exhausted. And we have a really <laughs> early day tomorrow. Yeah, we arrive at port tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Which so. that means we'll be the first ones off the ship yet again. Yeah, so of course. <laughs> we're gonna go to bed and we will see you tomorrow.
Rise and shine. <laughs> we are one of the first people up on the ship. Yes, unfortunately, I'm tired today. <laughs> and we're here in Tarragona. Yep. And we've got a lot of logistics to get over to Barcelona. We've got a shuttle and we also have a train. Two trains to get where we need to. So let's just pray that we make it. We will see. <laughs> so I think we might be about the only ones that are even up and ready to go right now. I mean, this place is empty. Most days there's at least, you know, a dozen or so that are lined up ready to get off the ship. But this is our earliest port call yet. We're the only ones down here ready. I guess Tarragona wasn't um, that exciting for people. <laughs> Okay, so we did our taxi service through Shuttle Direct. They were fantastic. Yes, they really were. Our taxi driver was so kind mm -hmm. and he kind of gave us a little mini tour on the way to the yeah. train station because this Tarragona train station is a ways out of town, mm -hmm. but it has high speed trains. So you get to Barcelona in like 30 minutes. Yeah. Also, I just want to say I got blister patches on both of my feet. When in Europe. So after a taxi ride and two train rides, we have made it to Barcelona. We started our day in Barcelona at the city's most famous landmark, La Sagrada Familia, which also happens to be the world's longest ongoing construction project. From there, we made our way to a cafe for some much needed caffeine. And of course, I should have known when I let Natalie pick our breakfast spot, it would come with pink chai lattes and French toast encased in blue cotton candy. But in spite of its Instagrammable aesthetic, it was actually really good. After a surprisingly delicious breakfast, we took a leisurely walk over to Barcelona's Arc de Triomphe, where we had our photo taken on a 1920s camera. We then met up with friends who became our impromptu tour guides as we roamed through the streets, taking in the sites like Casa Batio, Palau de la Musica Catalana, and La Rambla. We finished our day with tapas and drinks before saying farewell to our friends and Barcelona. If you'd like to see our full Barcelona vlog, click the link above. <music> That should have been, we should have filmed all of that. That would have been great for the amazing race because we literally were panicking. We we're both sweating, drenched. Sprinting through train stations that we don't understand the language, hoping we're going to the right place. Okay, we bought tickets. Apparently they weren't for the right ticket, so it took us triple the amount of time we were supposed to. We almost missed we, this train. We had planned on having a 45 minute buffer from the time we got to the station to the time we were leaving. By the time we got it all figured out, we had about 15 minutes to get off of our one train, local train, and then sprint to the station, get through security, and get to this train. Oh my gosh, it was insane. But we're here. We're here. And now we still have to get a taxi, a shuttle, and then get on the ship. So we're not scotch free yet, but. Yeah, one step closer. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> so much my adrenaline was pumping and then we were in the wrong seat so we had to move so. i think my blood pressure is up right now <laughs> oh i bet it is <laughs> through the roof ones who knows are we didn't look like it's busy we might be the last one but we're supposed to have about 30 minutes we were supposed to have 30 more minutes so <gasps> why is everybody going in
it was 1930 was... Uh, no, it's not. Oh, no? we got on our thing. No, it's everything everywhere. It's seven. Oh, really? Yeah, all well, on board that's 6.30. Oh, I don't think that was what our app said. Mm. And what are you preparing the paper that to leave you here? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, we scheduled it all out. Uh, what time is it? All aboard, 1930. On the hours. Yeah, so that's, that's what we went by. Yeah. So that's what we went that's by. What we went by. The oh. Have you oh yeah. Okay. Um, never experienced this before in my entire life. Yeah. I so we were the last people to board the ship. They were they had the paperwork in their hand preparing to leave us. And everybody was like giving us attitude or whatever. And, and it is not on us. The final board time right here on our phone, you can see final board time is 19:30. It is currently 19:06. I don't know if you can see that in 19:06. Wait, 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 right there. We we're supposed to have 30 minutes to spare. They had the time wrong in their app that we were told to go by to book, to book all, book of, all our of our excursions. So we planned to be back with 30 minutes to spare. They were there literally, they walked up and every packed up behind us and then gave us attitude. And then I had to show him the app. Needless to say, I was saving a lot of this rant for the end of this video, but the communication is lacking it's in a awful. major way on MSC cruises. Every day we have been at least 30 minutes late to be able to get off if the boat. If not 45 but, if minutes. If not 45 like today, almost missed our taxi this morning because of that because I don't have their crap together um, and this right here is just the last straw for me like as far as scheduling and timing they have no idea what they're doing and I I hate I to say it but I, it. I can't recommend booking an MSC cruise based off of our experience especially just now them about to leave us even though they told us we had more time and I'm like absolutely livid honestly that was awful yeah like can you imagine if they would have left us and it wasn't our fault yeah Closing time is this. I showed him the app and he was like, can I take a picture of that? Like had no clue that their app had the wrong final boarding time. It's just bizarre to me. From the COVID testing requirements, like on one webpage, it would say you did have to have one. On another webpage, it said you didn't. And it was super, super inconsistent. Yep. So of course, we just did all of it. Yep. Not and a problem. That should have been our first red flag. The second red flag should have been the safety briefing. Yep. We weren't aware that you had to go to a mustard station yep. the second day and watch the television yep. and call this number. That wasn't in the paperwork. Yeah, nobody <laughs> ever told us that. We were surprised when we weren't required to go to one or didn't think we were required to we because like, we weren't oh, Form. Okay. And then we got paperwork under our door saying, you missed hey, it. you missed the sta you know, muster station safety briefing. Now you need to go to this. Huh? Third was on our first port stop in Naples. We were 20 minutes late to be be able to get off the ship. Um, our second port stop I in Valencia. I think it was 30 minutes late. We were 30 late. minutes late. And then today here in Tarragona, we were almost 45 minutes late to be able to get off the ship this morning. Yeah. And we had a German family. They booked a flight and everything they needed to get off. Yep. And nobody really on the crew was helping them out. No. It was Nothing really an it. awful were, experience. They were, they were kind of held prisoner, as the German said. He said, we're not prisoners here. Like, why are you holding us? I have a flight that I booked based off of your, your scheduling. Time. Um, all of that annoying, but not a... Deal breaker. Deal breaker, necessarily. We definitely yeah. would have had a bad taste in our mouth, but we might would have booked another cruise. But the straw that broke the camel's back was tonight. The fact that their entire crew and higher up crew like this gentleman had no clue that their app was wrong bizarre to me now so. they had all of these signs that said all aboard an hour earlier yep but in the morning when you're the first off the ship none of those are out guess there's why? literally nothing and guess why they weren't out because they were 45 minutes late getting the gangway out and getting the bridge out so all of these things we can yeah. go on about this because mm -hmm. as you can tell we're heated but all of these reasons are reasons we will never recommend an msc cruise nope but enjoy the rest of our footage. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm shaking a little bit. Let's... We were really looking forward to a lovely evening, but right now we are so heated. Yeah, I am. We're yeah. livid. Yeah. So. I don't know what our night looks like now. We're just going to make the best of it. We're going to go cool down a little bit mm -hmm. and we will get back to you when we figure out. Just a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is us cooling off. <laughs> over pizza and ice cold water. This is ice cold pizza actually, so. Yeah, kind of is. Unfortunately, we're forced to eat the buffet food tonight because our dining time was earlier and we weren't on the ship at that time, so. Still not cooled off yet, inside. I, physically, I'm getting cooled off. Emotionally, not there yet. Might not be for a little bit. If you're watching and you're a lawyer, 
Is this like emotional distress because <laughs> I am like stressed to the max. The way I fix my problems is carbs. <laughs> No, thank you. No, I'm good. Thank you. While we're sitting at dinner, they're busting. They're walking around like trying to sell you on experiences and that kind of thing, and upsell you pretty much constantly. No, thank you. All right, so our original plan today was to like go out, eat dinner, have a good time on the ship. Yeah. But that was emotionally exhausting. What do you keep we saying? Emotional damage. <laughs> Is that how it goes? Yeah. Emotional damage. So we've showered instead, and now we're gonna watch Netflix Sounds on our like computer. Sounds like a perfect night to me right now. We need it. Okay, it <laughs> emotional damage for sure. So we will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. We are just getting our day started. Natalie is back there getting ready, but I think we're about to head up to the pool and try to grab some spots before they're all taken, if they're not all already taken. But I also think we're gonna grab some food because I'm starving. That pizza didn't do much for me last night. Yeah, and guess so. who um, fell asleep last night first? This guy. Let's go. Get the party started. <laughs> we forgot our sunglasses, but look what we snagged. Also, we decided to come to the back pool today because it's a little more chill. They've still got music playing, but it doesn't have all the entertainment and games going on. So we're excited to just kind of chill out a little bit. So we made my dreams come true, which is <laughs> make sure we got a good spot. Now and we're now... gonna make mine come true and get some food. <laughs> We have not come to breakfast here yet, and it is a madhouse. Okay, so this buffet is insane. Um, we pretty much got one of everything, not really, because there was so much to choose from. But you just never really know what's gonna be good or what's gonna be bad here. So yeah, we're gonna try a bunch of different things. Who really needs coffee uh, to wake up when you've got this chaos? So my coffee's also uh, so hot, I might be able to drink it in like an hour. It's burning my hand carrying it back in the mug. <laughs> I got these waffles, so they're nice and cold. Won't be eating those. Yeah, nope. Oh, that's good. Well, one thing that's good. So the wins for me, pineapple juice, that was really good. The croissant with lox and cream cheese with chives, so good. I did have to make this myself, so I did get a croissant and I found the lox and the red onions and the cream cheese. The other things that's really good are the sunny side up eggs. Those are the only good hot thing on the menu besides the sticky bun. But you have to eat that pretty quickly, otherwise it gets hard. Another thing that they do well, yogurt. I think that is it on my end. <laughs> you, Matt, what do you got? My wins would be a lot of the same as Natalie. The fresh fried egg. I think the fresh omelets would have been really good, but the line was long because they're custom made. Um, outside of that, the sticky bun was really good. Like Natalie said, the pineapple juice. And also, cold cuts and cheeses are always going to be a win. It's kind of hard to mess that up. Overall, I would say about 80% of our breakfast was not worth putting on our plate. We hate to waste that much, but we also know from the past few days like that not everything is gonna be a hit, especially on the buffet side of things. So we kinda just had to get a little bit of everything and see what was actually good. So Natalie and I just finished breakfast and we decided to divide and conquer. There were some things we left in the room, so I'm gonna go hold our spot down and she'll meet me back up here by the pool in a bit. Look who decided to join the party. I'm here to party. <laughs> I'm excited. We got this little cabana for free. <laughs> Okay, so I'm like reading my book and Matt taps me. First and foremost, I have these in because the music, not great. And he's looking like this. What are you doing? I said, let me know if you want to join my movie theater. Did you download shows? Yeah. What show are you watching? Vikings, Valhalla. Oh, okay. I've never watched it before. I just started it. Okay, cool. Let me know how you like it. Okay. Okay, bye. Matt over here looking like this. Ooh. <laughs> it's so cold. 
We should probably also have said that the high today, low 70s maybe. So it's not like it's that hot out here. That guy's wearing a jacket and pants, so. <laughs> oh, yep. I'll wake you up. Do a cannonball. Actually, the longer you're in it, it's not as bad. You're in ankle deep. That's easy for you to say. I'm frozen. <laughs> Yay, this is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Literally shimmering. I wanted a cold drink, but not anymore. I want a hot gelade <laughs> that they don't have. <laughs> woke up from a 15 minute nap. So rested, but now I'm gonna go grab a snack because we have the early dining. Enjoy this music. No, what else do you have? And I still got charged, so here we are. Are you serious? A thousand percent. that many really great activities on the ship like other cruises that we've been on unless you're into dance lessons and like little quizzes and stuff by the pool yeah so <laughs> other than that there's not that much to do i think it has to do with the language barrier and there's yeah. so many languages yep. we're gonna do one really cool activity right now i don't think you can see it but there's land over there and yeah. that is france bonjour, bonjour oui, oui. bon appetit <laughs> We haven't seen the indoor pool yet, so let's go. Okay, now that we've got fresh towels, I just realized that I have to change outfits for this next activity. Yeah, you gotta get in your sportswear. <sighs> so here is my sporty fit. I wasn't prepared for anyone to see my shirt because it's wrinkly, my biker shorts. The problem is I didn't bring any tennis shoes, so I have ballet flats. We well, only traveled in a carry-on, so hence why I don't have a lot of things. Yep, yeah, carry-on for 12 days. I'm proud of her. Yeah, me too. So hopefully they'll let me on with yep. my ballet flats. We will see. It might be a very uh, quick adventure because we might not get to do it, but... I'm not going to bring it up to them, so... <laughs> We were gonna do slides, but it is a little too cold for that, as you can see with the hoodie on. So we've got another adventure plan. All right, so can't go. Yeah, cool. I think this is strike, I don't know, we've lost count. Strike 12 for MSC. They said Natalie's shoes, even though they're full shoes, cover her toes and everything, they said they weren't good enough, so. And I can kick and they like don't come off, but yeah. it's fine. We got a game plan, because we thought we were gonna have about a half hour tied up in doing this, and uh, we we'll obviously don't. We'll probably just don't. go get ready <laughs> for dinner, because if you just idea care about doing nothing on a cruise except for eating bland food and sitting out by the pool and yep. drinking obviously because a lot of people drink yep. on this then this cruise is for you yep. but if you want to actually like do things but you know and whatever <laughs> they wouldn't let me on the high ropes course because i didn't have sneakers look at that look look at that do they come off no i'm normal <laughs> so that was uneventful, but we're back to our room. I got a tea. And I got a coffee. A little afternoon pick me up. You know, and I got these from breakfast. <laughs> so I may or may not have stored away <laughs> some cookies because... Little squirrel hoarding away little snacks. <laughs> so we're going to enjoy a chocolate chip cookie, which is not sweet. And we're just going to hang out on the balcony. <laughs> and then we're going to talk about our room. Yeah, a little review of the room after living in it for a few days. So... Let's go. <laughs> so as 
promised we're gonna give a quick and honest room review after living in it for five days. I would say overall, it's been an excellent experience with our cabin, other than a few things, and all of them have to do with really mostly just general maintenance, starting with our key entrance here on the door. This plastic cover comes off all the time. I'm not gonna pop it off. Many mm -hmm. times we've come up and it's just, just been like laying, on the laying in the floor and it's just exposed. Oh, there it goes. It just kinda, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it just popped off when I touched it. So nothing crazy, but definitely annoying. Another thing that I dislike, and this may be normal for most cruises, but it hasn't been for any of the other cruises we've done is the having to put the key card in to get power on in your room. I know it's kind of normal even at resorts and stuff, but either way, I still find it annoying. This lighting is not so great either. That's Natalie's biggest complaint. Especially in the makeup area. <laughs> you gonna make me do like that? Come on. This right here. What is this? Like you want me to do my makeup like this with this yeah. over it? Come on. Yeah, uh, the, the lighting is not the greatest. Yep. Okay. Another general maintenance thing is this closet door is like, as you can see, it's like not on the tracks. So you kind of have to jiggle it to even get it to open and I'm not gonna fight it right now. Another general one, again, that's probably fairly normal for cruises is the power outlet situation. There's just not a lot of it. And we have obviously lots of batteries and things to charge. So we've kind of had to play like musical chairs with what we can charge and when we can charge. But for most people, that's not gonna be a huge deal or a deal breaker. Back to some general maintenance things. Right here, we have just an exposed um, little spring you flick to turn it light on. Just, that's kind of ghetto, let's be honest. Another thing for us that hasn't been a huge deal because we haven't spent a ton of time in our room, but there's not a lot of free options to watch on TV unless you enjoy watching their safety video or live TV in languages you don't understand, or at least we don't understand. They do have a lot of options for movies, but they were like five to 10 euro per movie. So what I would recommend doing is downloading your favorite shows or whatever on your laptop, bring an HDMI cable that has an adapter to go to your laptop into the TV and then you'll actually be able to watch the shows that you want to watch. So another thing is we love having a balcony. Like you can't move it back. You're missing half of the view. Yeah, that's super annoying. Like what the hang? Just let it go all the way back. Another annoying thing that I didn't realize until I woke up the next day, uh, this USB charger, it doesn't work. I woke up the next day at port and I had 3% on my phone and I was freaking out, which was super annoying. So now I charge it over there. Oh yeah. All right, so that's our thoughts. Yeah, so overall our experience with our cabin has actually been a positive experience. Just know that these rooms have seen a lot of wear and tear and they're not being maintained so greatly. So just know what you're in for if you take the risk of booking an MSC cruise. <laughs> we warned you. <ya. laughs> okay, so the lighting is so bad in here that I'm using the light that our patrons gave us. So shout out to every single name down below. You guys are amazing and we wouldn't be able to do this channel without you. You guys buy us equipment and subscriptions that we need. So thank you guys so much. And if you want to join the Patreon family, check out the link in the description. In the meantime, I'm going to be getting ready using this light. So here we go. A get ready with me for dinner. I might even show you guys some of the stuff I packed, like a very condensed version of what I brought for Mediterranean cruise. <laughs> Already, now I just have to go get changed. My appetizer is kind of like a mozzarella stick, except for it's brie and it's in the shape of a ball, breaded and deep fried. But I'm not gonna lie, overall there's not a ton of flavor to any of it. I don't mind it, but not very bold flavors. For our second course, we ordered lobster bisque, and I just want to preface this by saying I am kind of a lobster bisque snob because I love it so much. So this is rock lobster bisque, which is definitely going to be different than the lobster bisque I'm used to. It's actually not bad. Just like the other seafood dishes we had in Spain, the seafood flavor is very forward in the palate. Not bad though. Oh wow. Whew. Very fishy. Wouldn't be able to eat this whole thing because my breath would be like, <laughs> I personally don't, I'm not a fan. Very fishy. And if that's your thing, go for it. 
which is not mine. So I got the roasted filet of beef and Marsala wine sauce. Again, just like the first night, not what we would think filet would be in America. It's not filet mignon. It's just they consider it thin sliced beef, I believe, because that's pretty much what this is. As you can tell, I'm having to chew for a little while on this meat. A little tough, a little dried out. The Marsala wine sauce is decent, but the meat is definitely overcooked. Okay, so I got the braised short rib ravioli. Actually pretty good. Again, like we've said, their Italian food is a lot better than pretty much any other kind of food. So their pizza and pasta are pretty good. Except for the lasagna. Kind of oh, that's weird. true. That lasagna was weird. The lasagna was bad. Every other Italian food ain't good. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Is it my favorite? No. Not bad, I like the textures. The pasta is actually really good. Again, kind of like almost everything. It all seems a little under seasoned and not a ton of flavor, but the ravioli is actually pretty decent. We got the baked Alaska for dessert and pretty good. Highlight of the meal tonight. So I got this pineapple sorbet. It tastes kind of like pineapple Dole Whip. I am a fan for life. <laughs> Party time here on the ship. <laughs> Apparently you had to make reservations yep. for this show, but not the other show that we've seen. Yep. So I don't yet know. another communication failure on MSC's part. No. Thankfully there were seats open and we were able to reserve it on the kiosk right outside the theater. much better than the show that we came to yeah. two nights ago. Yeah. So definitely recommend, but we will see you in the morning for port stop number four. four. See you then. Good morning. Per usual, we're running late. <laughs> but it might actually be on time for them, so it might work in our favor. All right, so this is our first time doing an MSC excursion. Uh, we didn't know any of the details till less than 24 hours in nope. advance, which we're not a <laughs> huge fan of. We still don't know how long we're gonna have at each city. Yeah. Mm. Also, a very important note, we didn't even know until we came in the door this morning. Nobody knew. Yeah, nobody knew that we needed a photo ID with us in order to get back on the ship today. None of that information was told to us until this morning when we're walking into our yeah, briefing they were for like, our excursion. If you need to go get your ID, go get it. Anyway, we are excited for this excursion. We're going to be exploring the Italian Riviera today and the photos look amazing, so we can't wait to see it in real life. We start off with a 50 minute bus ride, so let's get started. They let us off the boat again. <laughs> What was great about this is we got 50 minute crash course on how to pronounce things like Lingurian and Capoli and Genova. We still might butcher it. Oh, for sure. But Santa Margarita. We at least had some good examples on the way here. Yeah. <laughs> We're off the bus. It's very interesting because he's like talking in my ear in different languages, so we'll see how that goes. Welcome to the Italian Riviera, our fourth and final port stop here on our cruise. We started our day in the quaint fishing village of Camoli before hopping on a ferry and taking in the coastal views as we made our way to one of the most luxurious villages on the Italian coast, Portofino. 
Once we arrived in Portofino, we made the short but somewhat strenuous hike up to Castello Brown for some of the best views of the harbor. After making the climb back down, we roamed the picturesque promenade and treated ourselves to some cold drinks and focaccia. We then hopped back on the ferry and cruised over to Santa Margarita Lagura, where we took a relaxing walk along the waterfront, had some of the best gelato of our lives, and stumbled upon a stunning cathedral before taking the 45-minute bus ride back to Genova. If you want to watch the whole Italian Riviera experience, check out the link above. So we've just arrived at the Genova port. And we were asking around, we asked a few different employees here at the board to make sure we knew what time the all aboard time was. And we've asked three or, we've asked four different people and mm -hmm. gotten- Three different answers. Yeah, three different answers. So? So what the correct answer is, we don't know. Hmm. And the app says different than every one oh, of those answers. Oh, a thousand answers. percent. So we'll see. We're just gonna come back early. <laughs> and our tour guide, he told us yeah. if we weren't too tired, the old port, which is a very historic part of the town, is only like a 10 minute walk from here, so we couldn't pass it up. Obviously. <laughs> After this short 10 minute walk, we took in the sights of the old port and ended our day with happy hour drinks before making our way back to the cruise ship. So since we got like three or four different answers on the time, we're just gonna go with the <laughs> earliest because we really don't wanna get left. No, that is not a good feeling. Uh, no. Knowing that we were within five minutes of getting left the other night so mm, we're no. not gonna repeat that nope. so we are headed back to the ship after a great little happy hour yeah. at that cocktail bar the prices place. were great yeah. so definitely check it out if and, you're here in and Genova. get the makaya beers they were good and they were local so. yeah. I love the ambiance here we love like New York City we love grimy yeah. big cities more sirens back at the port terminal way before the ship has to leave. Well, we don't really know that. That is but true. We're yeah. gonna go get back on the ship and they don't let us film while we do that. So we'll see you on the boat. So we're back in our room. <laughs> so we got a bunch of disembarkation paperwork. Um, and Fun so, stuff. No. Not really. And it was so <laughs> complicated already and there was already like some miscommunications some, already on the paperwork. So yes. yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we got all that handled and- Now I'm gonna start packing cause I was like, oh darn, we gotta go tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, bye. <laughs> Last night on the cruise. Yep. And we're enjoying this beautiful night as we leave Genova. So pretty. <laughs> Matt was singing us uh, Andrea Bocelli because they play it every single night when we leave. Don't know why. Oh my God, I wanna die. Okay, so you know what, Gus, our attendant. Long story short, I was filming some TikToks, so I left the tripod up, but it was like facing the bed, and so we had to come in we had to come and in close and the mini the... bar. And... and he saw, hey, good evening. <laughs> He saw all our camera gear and tripod near the bed. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I was like, A, we weren't prepared for you to come in. And B, I apologize to you, sir. It's not what, it it is was like. not what you think. Oh, I could die. Sorry, all right. guys. All right, headed to dinner. We are starving. We are eating multiples of whatever they're serving. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, let's go eat. So we ordered... Hot stickers and spring rolls, yeah. right? That was the best appetizer we've had. Yeah, so it's on this whole trip. For the main, we ordered the same thing, which was the veal leg with roasted potatoes and onion. I understand why they serve this with the gravy, the because the meat is quite dry. The potatoes are pretty decent, though. They got a good flavor. I think what we're realizing, I don't think they really salt or pepper much of anything. Just got back from dinner, Yes. which was... Good, not great, per yes. use, but you know, That's it's fine. pretty much the norm here. But no shows or entertainment for us tonight. Our entertainment is Guys, right here. packing. Packing. Like, it is such a mess right now. That said, yeah. we've gotta go make sense of all this mess, but we will see you guys in the morning. Good night. We are all packed up and ready for some breakfast before yes. we leave the ship. Goodbye to our stateroom. Goodbye to the balcony. The balcony was the MVP of this trip, if we're being honest. I would say so. Mm -hmm. And if slash when we do cruise again, I think a balcony is going to be necessary. I think so too. 
So. It just probably won't be on MSC. Sorry. But sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional thing. Yeah, honestly, though. Like, PTSD <laughs> for life. <laughs> Last breakfast on the cruise. And I think by day seven, we have this thing figured out. Yeah. <laughs> a lot less food waste this time. Yeah. I am actually finally getting to try the fresh omelet because the line wasn't ridiculously long. <laughs> We're headed to the disembarkation meeting point. So <laughs> here we go. Let's go. Arrivederci, or see you never. <laughs> All right, so we didn't spend any time here other than walking through because not really our thing, but this is the casino, if that interests you. So we just showed up and they called our number. And we're off. We are off. So the Italians must have been on vacation time because Sorry, now, please, oh yeah. Uh, because now everybody is in such a hurry that oh, yeah. it's kind of so comical. Nobody has been in a hurry or on no. time for anything, anything this entire cruise. Now it's time to go. People are yelling, screaming. They're oh, like, yeah. I got places to be. Well, why didn't they're, you earlier? They're hurting us around, not letting us stop. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Again, not a great way to end the experience, but like Matt said, it's pretty on par. Let's go, please. <laughs> All right, so we're back in Livorno. That we are, and just like that, our seven day Mediterranean cruise with MSC Cruises is done. The big question now is, what do you rate the MSC Cruise? Okay, if I take away the fact that they almost left us to their own devices because yeah. it wasn't on us. The one thing that them leaving us, take that the out. The PTSD that yeah. I will forever have when I hear those sirens. I'm gonna rate it like a 5.5 because the food, the entertainment, there wasn't that much to do during the day. That's what I would rate it. What, what about you? I think, yeah, I think I'm with you. 5.56 at the highest. But yeah, I'm with you. There were a lot of uh, like up charges when it came to entertainment. So, we so much. Yeah, so there was a lot of things we didn't get to do that we thought we might get to do because they were up charges. Um, a lot of restaurants that they had, yep. uh, chocolate places, gelato. Like, I Lot, missed the 24-hour uh, free ice cream cones. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? We did have good experiences with service. Oh, yeah. Like, our attendant for our room, our waiter lord was really great yep. and attentive. They were really kind. Yep. I think the big problem is, too, this was something completely different to anything that we've experienced before, but every day, people disembark and, and there's... Embark. So there's a constant rotation of people. So we, I think that's why they're always selling to you mm -hmm. because they don't know if you've been there before. Or for us, we were kind of lost little dogs and yeah. nobody was helping us and we were yeah. wondering why. Yeah. And I think that was another reason. Yeah, that's a big part of, I think, even where some of the communication mm -hmm. and miscommunication uh, falls into play. Because they just assume that you know. Would we book an MSC cruise again? And the answer for me is not in the Mediterranean. I don't think I would ever yeah. book one here again. We have heard, we actually ran into some other Americans yeah, yesterday. In, in, Port, Portofino. in Portofino. They asked what cruise we were on. We said MSC and they absolutely loved MSC cruises, but they had only taken Caribbean MSC cruises yeah. out, out of the U.S. From their explanation, they had almost the opposite experience. They loved the food, they <laughs> loved the had. entertainment, all of yeah. that stuff. And they said the communication was really good on that one. Yeah. So, so this yeah. review is mostly just for a uh, Mediterranean cruise because that's mm -hmm. what we took obviously. Um, would we take an MSC cruise in the Caribbean? It would have to be an incredible deal because there are way too many other great options in the Caribbean, oh, I feel like, percent. for me to want to take a risk on a cruise line that we had such a bad experience with. Yeah. I say that we had such a bad experience, but we did have some mm. great times on the cruise. Yeah. There were just those certain things that were like so bad. Like deal breakers Deal for breaker us. things that made the entire experience not as enjoyable. The big negatives and the big takeaways for me communication yeah um, not good punctuality then the food yeah. for us food our opinion it wasn't great yeah um, it was okay 
okay at best. Those yeah. those three things were probably the weakest parts. That is our seven day Mediterranean cruise on MSC. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed following along on this journey. Yeah, thank you guys. And if you did, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It helps out our channel so, so much more than you know. And it's free, so why not? <laughs> and we'll see you guys next week. Welcome to the... <laughs> Welcome to our, it's my awful room tours. Okay. There are tur, tur. What did you just do? You're probably familiar with the term brush it under the rug, but you ever heard of brush it under the plate? <laughs> you look so proud of yourself. I can't remember what floors things are on. I don't remember, it was something fancy. Obviously way fancier than I am. Two, one. Start higher. Start higher. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> that worked out well. Sportswear. Oh, I don't know what that was, but. <laughs> Your karate chap was that? I think that it's, was? you know, sports. <laughs> it wasn't recording. You were. Are you for real? I'm just kidding. I was like, dude, that's on you. <laughs> you keep doing it. <laughs> Put it out there. It's so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a bicep workout. Excellent view of Mount An excellent view. <laughs> Bye.